Hi, and welcome to another Majestic Cloud video. Today I'm going to talk about remote logins with AWS Systems Manager uh, Session Manager. So, uh, what does remote login mean in, means in this context? It means that we are able to uh, connect uh, to EC2 instances uh, remotely via a web browser uh, without the use of uh, SSH. Um, before showing you how this uh, works, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, uh, Session Manager. Session Manager is part of uh, AWS Systems Manager and um, it uh, allows us to connect uh, to the instances uh, but for this we need to set up um, an IAM role um, and attach this IAM role to the instance and then uh, after we did that um, we can uh, connect uh, to Linux or Windows instances private or public instances we don't need, need to open the SSH port so port 22 uh, we don't need any bastion host and of course we need uh, we don't need uh, an SSH key or a password and the big advantage is that uh, all our activity is uh, logged in CloudWatch or an S3 bucket so anytime we can uh, look back and see what we done or what some other person done when he was logged to this instance so let's get started and uh, let me show you how you can do this we will start by uh, creating an IAM role, uh, which we'll uh, use uh, when we are, create, uh, we are creating the instances. So let's go to IAM and create a role. Uh, this role uh, will be used by EC2, so we select here EC2. And here on the policy um, search screen, we search for SSM and we select uh, Amazon EC2 role for SSM. Uh, we don't add any tags, click on review and this will be session manager role. And we save this and then we go back to uh, EC2 and we will launch an instance. Um, we select uh, Amazon Linux and um, let's go with t2 micro uh, here we leave everything except the im role on default so for the im role we will use uh, this session manager role we just created let's click here uh, we add storage then we add no tax at the moment and at the security group we will create a new uh, security group uh, security group with no open ports let's say and we will remove this ssh uh, port from here so this security group has no rules and we will uh, review and launch here it asks us uh, about um, um, key pair we will not need this key pair but anyway ec2 asks us to create it uh, we will create an ec2 key pair uh, but we will not use it so this will be something download key pair and uh, launch the instance okay so our instance is launching um, let's go back to uh, this screen and while while our instance is launching let's go to cloudwatch and create a log group for our logs. In the CloudWatch Management Console, uh, we'll go to Logs and we'll create here. Um, yeah, let's get started. Create log group, and here will be Session Manager Log Group. Okay, create log group. Uh, then we will go to uh, systems manager okay systems manager in systems manager uh, we have a lot of options here on the left side but 
what is interesting for us in this case is the session manager so it's here and we click on it and here we have the option to start a session um, you see that our instance uh, this one with 004 it's already showing uh, usually it, this uh, can take a bit of time um, to show here but in our case it was fast and I can already see it so we click on start the session and you can see I am uh, logged into the instance uh, I can uh, give the command who am I and I am SSM user and uh, I can uh, do an ls so I'm on the instance um, I will terminate this session let's go to preferences and set up uh, our CloudWatch log group uh, we click on edit and here uh, we will send the session output to CloudWatch logs here we can click on this uh, because I didn't set up encryption I will uncheck this and um, uh, we'll choose the session manager log group which I created previously I could also set up here an S3 bucket if I wanted to but uh, for now uh, CloudWatch logs will uh, suffice so uh, once I've clicked here I can click on save and now uh, my session output uh, is being stored there so let's go back here and start another session um, let's select the instance and start session okay so I'm connected um, to the instance you see instance ID here um, and we will do a sudo yum update and uh, our instance is being updated right now uh, all this from the uh, browser window as you can see mm, okay let's wait for this uh, to finish and then uh, when this uh, finishes I will close uh, I will terminate this uh, remote session and we will see what we have in the CloudWatch uh, logs okay so let's click on terminate terminate the session and let's go to uh, CloudWatch logs and uh, let's see uh, what we have here we have the log group session manager log group let's go here we don't have anything to show yet uh, this might take a, a bit of time um, We'll wait for. Uh, I will pause the video and wait for the logs to show. Okay, so let's check again, and it seems that our logs are here. And if we click on this uh, log and open it, we can see that I can see here the commands I've entered in the terminal and uh, all the output that. Uh, was there uh, for me to see and in the end uh, the exit command and uh, the termination of the remote uh, session so um, this is how um, remote logins uh, work with uh, session manager it's an easy way to uh, connect to remote uh, EC2 instances um, without uh, using uh, passwords, private keys or SSH. Um, I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please uh, click on like and subscribe to the Majestic Cloud uh, YouTube channel for more videos on cloud computing. See you soon.